There is a beautiful art gallery right here in Las Vegas that celebrates all things Disney. And this weekend, it's all about the classic character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And here to give us a preview is author Dave Fossard and gallery owner Neil Cantor. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Like I said, I'm really, really uh, geeking out. So much history here. First of all, tell us a little bit about Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Well, really, Oswald was Walt Disney's first big success. And he lost the contract, and because of it, he created Mickey Mouse. So Oswald really is a hugely important part of the puzzle, of the history of the Disney company. And you can see the similarities. He looks a lot like Mickey Mouse. He, he absolutely does. He absolutely does. He's very close to him. Okay, yeah. real quick. Now, you have this beautiful book. It's a labor of love. Yeah. Again, this is a labor of love for you. Sure. But you have such a history yourself with Disney, correct? I do, I do, absolutely. <laughs> I don't work for them anymore, but I had been with them for 32 years and uh, had a lot of fun, worked on some great films like The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin and Lion King and, you know, just a lot of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, a lot of fun, fun movies. And what attracted you to Oswald? You know, this was one of these uh, little characters that was sort of getting lost to time and I really felt like, you know, we needed to put together all of this material in a book so that people would understand how important this character was to the Disney company, to Walt Disney, and to really the birth of Mickey Mouse. Wow. 